Hello all. Welcome to this video where we are going to understand what are agglomerative clustering uh, methods with the help of one numerical example. So first of all, clustering methods are unsupervised machine learning methods where the data are data objects. They are grouped into multiple clusters based on their similarity. Or we can also say that the data objects are segregated based on their dissimilarity. There are different categories of implementing clustering methods like partitioning based method, hierarchical clustering method, density based method, and grid based method. We have already seen uh, one of the algorithms of partitioning based method, which is k means clustering, in our earlier video. And in this video, we are going to discuss one method, one of the methods of hierarchical clustering, which is agglomerative clustering method. So hierarchical clustering methods work by grouping data objects into a tree-like structure or a hierarchy of clusters. Uh, there are various types again, like algorithmic, probabilistic, and Bayesian clustering method. Agglomerative clustering method is a type of algorithmic clustering method. So agglomerative clustering method uh, is also called as bottom-up method. We will see with the help of the example later why it is called as a bottom-up method. Uh, we actually start with individual objects and we assume them to be clusters. Uh, using some criteria, we merge these clusters iteratively till we form one full final cluster. And hence, they are called as bottom-up method. So two main uh, criteria used in algorithm algorithmic, uh, sorry, in agglomerative clustering methods are distance matrix and distance measure. So first let us understand what is distance matrix. So to find distance between any two sample points, we use a matrix. For example, we can use Euclidean distance matrix or we can also use Manhattan distance matrix. So a distance matrix is used to calculate distance between the two points and later on compare the distances and also, a distance measure is used. So distance measure means what will be the criteria of comparison. So there are different distance measures like single linkage method or complete linkage method. Single linkage method is also called as minimum distance method measure or maximum distance measure or average distance measure or mean distance measure. In our example, we are going to use minimum distance measure, which is single linkage distance measure. But there will be a separate video on different distance measures, and we will look into detail in that particular video. Now, based on the distance matrix, we will form a distance matrix, which will give us the idea of distances between all the simple points. And then by using distance measure, we will identify the minimum distance in our case. Okay, so the algorithm, algorithm goes like this. We take each sample point. Initially, we take each sample point as clusters. We merge the closest two clusters. Accordingly, we update the distance matrix and we keep repeating these steps until one big cluster is obtained, single cluster is obtained. So let us take this example, which we have created. We have got six different sample points and they are to be clustered. We have to cluster these uh, six different sample points. Uh, we will be using Manhattan distance matrix for this example, and we will be using single linkage distance measure for this example, okay? So first of all, let us have a quick review of how to obtain Manhattan distance. So for example, if we want to find out distance between S1 and S2, distance D, Manhattan distance D is given by seven minus four plus four minus four. Your seven and four are the X values of S1 and S2 respectively. And four minus four are the Y values of S1 and S2 respectively. We take the absolute value of these differences and we get three plus zero, which is equal to three. So this is how we can find out uh, Manhattan distance amongst the sample points. And using this, these distances, we will obtain the distance matrix, okay? So before we, uh, 
display the distance matrix here, let us just visualize how these points look like. So in two dimensional space, these points S1 to S6 are scattered as follows. And intuitively, when you look at this graph, you will realize that the first cluster to be formed will be S1, S6, because we are using minimum distance measure and the distance between S1 and S6 looks to be minimum. So this S1 and S6 is going to form the first cluster. Okay, but let us solve the problem. Uh, so this is our distance matrix. We have only used the lower triangular matrix here. And these are the distances, Manhattan distances amongst each sample point. So for example, the distance between S3 and S2 is equal to four, four units. Okay, so we have found out the Manhattan distance amongst the each sample points. And we have identified this one to be the minimum distance in this matrix. So distance between S1 and S6, as we had already seen in the earlier slide, distance between S1 and S6 is minimum. So we will form a cluster of S1 and S6 put together. This was the first iteration. Now let us uh, draw the dendrogram. So first of all, what are dendrograms? Dendrograms are the tree-like structure and it will give us the pictorial representation of the hierarchical agglomerative clustering algorithm. So pictorially, we will be able to view how our clusters are merged together or a tree will be formed. And this tree is called as a dendrogram. So first merging was done between sample points S1 and S6. So we have taken that these two points together. Now, cluster S1 and S6 is already formed. So this is our first cluster, one cluster. And these points, S2, S5, S3, and S4, these are our remaining clusters, individual points, which we consider them as put them to be a cluster. Now, we have to find out the distance between S1, 6 from S2, from S3, from S5, and from S4 as well. Now, there are two points in this cluster, S1 and S6. So what, which point will we consider? to obtain the distance. So should we take S1 or should we take S6 to find out the distance between S1, 6 and S2, cluster S1, 6 and S2. As we are using minimum distance measure here, what will we do? We have, we will find out distance between S1 and S2. We will also find out distance between S2 and S6. And whichever is the minimum distance out of these two distances, we will consider that distance to be the distance between cluster S1, 6 and S2. So minimum distance between these two clusters, S1, 6 and S2, we obtain is equal to 3. Okay, so likewise, we find the distance of S1, 6 from all these points, from S2, from S5, from S3 and from S4. We have just shown S2 here. And this is our updated distance matrix. And the minimum distance that we have identified here is distance between sample point S3 and S4. So S3, S4 will form the cluster. So this is our updated dendrogram. So let us move ahead to the next iteration. Uh, we have to find distance between, we have to update our distance matrix. Now we have two clusters here, two newly formed clusters here, S16 and S34. And there are two clusters already which were present, S2 and S5. So we have to find distances between these four clusters now. So how will we, or what will be the distance between S16 and S34? So again, we will find distances of S1 to S3, S1 to S4, S6 to S3 and S6 to S4, which we have done here. And amongst all these distances, we will take the minimum distance, which is equal to three. And we will update our distance matrix. So this is how our distance matrix will look like. And here we have got two minimum distances, which are equal, which is equal to three. 
For this iteration, we will just consider one distance here, which is uh, distance between S2 and S16, and we will merge these two clusters. Okay, we could have also taken a uh, merging of S34 with S16, that was also possible. But here we have merged S2 with S16, and this is forming one big cluster now. This is how our dendrogram now looks like. Uh, similarly, we will move ahead towards the next iteration. Uh, find the distance between S126 with S34 and S5. And similarly, we update, likewise, we update the distance matrix here. Minimum distance is identified. And the clusters are merged. And our final, uh, so our updated dendrogram will now look like and our final dendrogram so now only s5 is left and s5 will also be eventually merged and our final dendrogram will look like this this is our final dendrogram now say for example in the problem we have been given that we have to form two clusters then what will we do how will we cut the dendrogram to form two clusters so to form two clusters if dendrogram is crossed or uh, is cut across this red line, we will get two clusters. First cluster will have these points, and the second cluster will have this point here. Okay, so this was the numerical example of agglomerative hierarchical clustering method. Thank you very much for patient listening.